All right, let's take a look at this new extension that I made. It will allow a user on Twitch to search through a VOD and identify timestamps based on a username or the actual comment itself using kind of a Boolean search patterns. And so yeah, let's download this and take a look at how to install it and then we will go through how to use it. All right, so it's downloaded. Yeah, pull it open here. All right, so once you've downloaded it, we'll be in a zip. So let's uh, unzip it. If you're on a Mac, just double click. That'll unzip the folder for you. If you are on a PC, you can just right click extract all and then put it wherever you want to put it and name it whatever you want to name it. That's what I'm going to do and we're extracting. All right, so here, now we have it. Next step is go to your extensions folder, your extensions manager and install it. So let me remove this version that I have in here. Oh, one thing, you need to make sure that you are in dev mode. So to do that, you click this button up at the top of Chrome. This should also work perfectly fine in Brave if you're using Brave, but I don't know whether or not it will work for Edge and it definitely will not work for Firefox. All right, so once you have that in dev mode, you can then go to load unpacked and then go find the folder, click in there, make sure you click all the way through. You shouldn't see anything and that's how you know you have it. If you select it and you see something about corrupted manifests, you didn't do it right. So, so we're installed, now we're good to go. Now on a VOD, you can just go in, refresh the page, and then you will see a button pop up. It's this Q. This is the logo for a different extension. I just didn't feel like creating anything new. I just quickly built this today. All right, then click the button. All right, and so what's happening here is it is downloading the chat logs, but you can go ahead and start searching, right? So if you want to search for, um, so someone suggested earlier, Hassan near house. So this squiggly line, you see the, the uh, character next to your one, it looks for words near other words. Um, so it'll look for any combination in any order and you can do up to four of these and it will find them within, I think like 49 characters of one another. So we hear it, see here, so we get the timestamp, who wrote it, and then a link to that timestamp in the VOD too. So if you just wanna you know, open it up in a new tab, you can do so and then boom, we've got the timestamp, right? Let's run this again. Looks like those were, oh, and you can use like, or house mill. Um, double quote is actually a, a word boundary. So by default, everything has a wild card on either side of it, but if you put a quote next to it, that will make it a word boundary. So it would find, it wouldn't find houses, right? It would just find house in that case. Here we go, buy a house for your family, Chud. Why did that pick up? Oh, I think because I didn't put it in parentheses, maybe. Hmm, near million. Oh, mill, oh, so this is actually great. So family, it picked up family because uh, I didn't have the word boundary. So now it's not picking up family, cool. All right, and then once it's done actually pulling all those logs, now you really can search through everything. But um, additionally, if you want, you can actually download those full logs. I have it downloaded as a JSON file. Right, so if you don't know how to work with JSON data, um, I don't know what to tell you, but if you are wanting to convert, convert it into a table, you can actually use this other tool that I have. Actually, I think I've just got a shortcut for it here. Yeah, it's called a user interface for JSON to TSV conversion. So you copy all this data. I didn't bother creating the uh, conversion. I guess if people want it, I can, but you'll have to reinstall all this shit. Um, but anyway, you can just drag and drop that into, you can copy and paste that code into your console, click enter, run it, and then drag and drop this in. And then you can, this allows you to move shit around or whatever. And then that'll download it as a TSV file, which is not the same as a, as a CSV file. It's, we'll go through, I guess, quickly on how to use that. So you drag it in here like so detect tab separated, not comma, and then replace current sheet, import. 
And then here you go. Um, channel ID, content ID, yada, 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 if you wanted to go through it like that. Um, one thing to note is if you have, uh, if you've done this with like a, like a popular streamer that has like 30,000, 100,000 million chat logs and in, in their VOD, this is probably not going to work too great. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, have at it. I'm going to drop a link to the code here in my discord and, um, yeah, this video will be on YouTube.